Welcome back. This is Let's Fly Kerbal Space Program. Um, I am my YouTube name, The Winter Owl. In gaming forums, I'm calling myself White Owl. My real name is Matt. I'd, I've been reading a lot of your comments. People love making suggestions. You're trying to help me out with this goal. I greatly appreciate it. I, I, I really do. It's, it's, it's a... I think starting this particular game, this is rapidly becoming one of my favorite games. I can't bring myself to, to play something different. Um, hang on here, which one do I want? I want this one. You have so many great ideas to help me out in achieving achieving this goal. Um, I'm also realizing a few things that um, you know, I'm still learning a lot about this whole uh, the let's play process, the let's fly, so I've decided to call it. Uh, and I realized that I've very evidently have not been doing a good job in in actually um, educating what are we doing with this pro with with this program. Not in, and I'm not narrating enough what's actually happening because the last few episodes people haven't actually understood what the problem was. Uh, people keep on telling me, Matt, go ahead and and land horizontal, do the vertical, do the do the horiz uh do a vertical landing, you know, with your, with your craft in a horizontal orientation, and they don't realize that I was trying to do that, and it wasn't working. The issue all along was that when, and whenever I would go and I would uh, attempt to do the, the vertical landing, the, the nose of this vehicle is pitching up uncontrollably. I even tried, you know, I turn the SAS off, and I, uh, I go full forward on the stick, uh, trying to just push the nose down as, as as hard as the controls will allow me, and as soon as I start uh, doing the button, the buttons, the, um, the control on my on my joystick to thrust upwards for for a uh, for a vertical landing, uh, then the nose just pitches up. Really, the last couple landings I, I should have just aborted, and uh, when I saw that problem and, and not gone with it. So. We need to fix this problem. First thing, let's take... Okay. Grunt. I'm going to stash Grunt down on the floor. Out of the way. He's out of trouble. Good. Okay. Let me see here. I think at this point... Okay. Uh, yeah, one one viewer had... A ver I'm actually just going to get rid of almost this entire thing. Bam. I've got to rebuild... I'm gonna rebuild the, um, rebuild my orbiter, rebuild Oxcart 4. Keeping the same basic configuration, but changing a few things around. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take these RCS tanks, I'm gonna put them up front. I'm also going to take this, uh, my, my SAS, let me see, what the, that one's mass, 0.5. I'm gonna put that up front. This is so we will keep... Actually, I need to do this the other way around, really, because these RCS tanks are going to lose mass. Here we go. Put some mass up front. This will help the vehicle keep... Uh, yeah, keep nose heavy longer. There we go. Okay, now... This does not... Uh, in my opinion, and just this, this does not rate renaming this to... to uh, cart five or anything like that no this is it's still we're gonna still keep the same configuration uh, this is but we're just rearranging the innards of the vehicle a little bit all right let's build this guy whoops hang on Okay, okay, there is Oxcart 4. Um, I still... Okay, the other change that I want to make, I'm going to get rid of this heavy port here. I'm going to replace it with a linear port. Right there. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'll leave, yeah, I'll leave those where they are. Now let's think about another change which I was considering. Would it, is it possible? Is it possible to take these um, take my my fuel tanks 
and the actual and see I, the big problem I had the fuel tanks here had engines back here. Is there a way that I can get away with mounting fuel tanks farther forward on this vehicle in some manner? This is something I need to experiment around with in order to put move the center of gravity further forward. I don't know. I haven't tried this. And still have the engines back here. Or maybe I'll go back to the one engine design. And yeah, Except that one engine design would have more mass, wouldn't it? Hmm. Maybe I need to rethink... Completely rethink the fuel distribution of this whole vehicle. I've already figured out that I, I think I have just about the right amount of fuel. Using, using the two engines that I had there, uh, 12 tanks of fuel seem to be about right. Just a rough guesstimate had enough for making orbital corrections around the moon. Uh, and, and as well, I already saw how much fuel I'd have after landing. And I, I'm pretty sure that'll be enough for coming back home. So, is there another way that I can distribute these um, 12, 12, because, you know, this one's like two tanks in one, but 12, but 12 little cans, 12 cans of fuel. Is there a different way I can distribute that around this vehicle? A different way than I've been doing it. And I have to remember to keep the weight balanced, the, the whatsoever's on both above and below my engines. It must remain balanced. I wonder if I put it there, will that work? Yeah, there's an idea. Okay, next step. Now I need to put a whole bunch of struts all over this thing because I don't want to. I don't want to see those things wiggling around all over the place. Yeah, let's do some struts. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of struts. Looks to me like those parts will not wobble. Now let's do a whole bunch of fuel lines. Okay, so I want to route all four of my over and under tanks up to these, the forward tanks. And then I want to route the forward tanks. Well, actually, I'll do that part first. I'll route the forward tanks so that they feed the tip tanks. Yep. A lot like that. Okay, fuel lines, you're being frustrating. Why are you being frustrating like this? I wonder. Hang on, let's get. Let's, let's start thinking a little bit non linear about this. Ha! Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Make this to not quite the same. So that they, they won't cross. They won't touch. Whoops, hang on, that's hitting that. <laughs> is that ugly or is that ugly? Yes, I like it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there, there's Oxcart 4 redesigned to keep more of the mass up front longer. We need 
and, and we add and for the cost of all the only mass that we added, we added a 0.8 to the overall to the thing. Hmm. I wonder is that enough to justify trying to add a little bit more fuel to this beast? Probably not. Okay, okay. Where where'd Grunt go? Here Grunt, good boy. Here's Grunt. Bam. Match Grunt up like that. Okay, let's reattach some of our struts. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Any struts break whenever I did that? All those struts stayed together. All those struts stayed together. Um, you see, oh, we've got a disconnected fuel line down here. Let's fix that fuel line, huh? Okay, okay, so now, yeah, I want... Let me see, I want these two tanks... to feed the four over and under tanks. And now the last thing I need to do... is I would need to drain and touch fuel. I need to drain my ox carts fuel tank into grunts. Yeah, that looks like that line is clear. Okay, cobweb. That is a cobweb. I kind of like it. Okay, now I need to go through and I need to fix all the staging. Okay, okay, I think we're ready to do this. Here, let's save it.